hey guys i prepared the easiest soup you can find on the internet so guys let me introduce you to how i made this perfection in one bit your one stop shouldn't be your last so make sure you subscribe like share for this recipe we'll be needing clean washed beef we'll also be needing crayfish my crayfish has been blended with oziza seed and ogiri okwei we'll be needing the offal we'll also be needing pomo okanda we'll need periwinkle we'll also need fresh pepper which have been roughly chopped next up we'll be needing palm oil we'll also be needing salt to taste next up we'll be needing seasoning cube i'm using the crayfish seasoning for this and the ninja pot we'll also be needing stock fish and dry fish we'll need onions we'll, be, we'll also be using the oziza leaf let's start cooking this yumminess in a bit in my clean pot i went in with the beef and pomo next up i seasoned it to taste i used the seasoning cube i used salt to taste pepper onions and i stirred everything together and i covered the pot and brought it to a boil The meat has been boiling in its own juice for about 15 to 20 minutes. So next up, I will go in with stock fish and dry fish. Then I will just stir everything for it to combine. Next up, I will go in with more water because we are building the stock for the soup. And I will add salt and seasoning cube for it to taste. So guys, if you're new here, welcome to my channel. And to my returning subscribers, kisses on all your cheeks. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel and enjoy it recipe like this and also lifestyle content guys this offer soup it is a soup that is really underrated it is quick easy and you can prepare it with any amount of money you have it is very very cheap to prepare you can make it an high-end soup and you can also make it a low-end soup i'm adding more water to the stock because i wanted to cook the stock fish and the dry fish to make sure that it was tenderized next up i went to my crayfish which has the oguri okwe and oziza seed guys we are building flavor and everything like you know was married and turned to one i brought it to a perfect ball next up i'm adding the offal mixed with palm oil this is how i do mine to avoid having lumps in my soup after i've added it i'll cover it and bring everything to another boil this is going to make it very easy you can, as you can see there is no lump in the soup and it's boiling well i'm not going to stir everything together and check for the consistency i want one thing about offal soup is that please don't make it too thick on fire if not when you come down it's going to turn to when it's cold sorry it's going to turn to agidi <laughs> i'm adding fresh pepper inside and i'm not going to stir everything for it to combine I'm going in with more water because I intend to add more of four to my soup and I'll just go ahead to add more of four then cover everything and bring it to a perfect boil. Guys, it's been boiling. Are you seeing how it's been poop, 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 poop? <laughs> Next up, I'm adding my periwinkle and I will stir everything for it to combine. Guys, guess what? They are understanding the assignment. They don't they marry and they know why they are here, which means the end result is going to be yummy. <laughs> Next up, I'm adding my crayfish. Guys, don't be stingy with your crayfish. Add your crayfish. Your food will thank you for it. Adding enough crayfish for it to taste better and yummier. <laughs> Don't mind me, guys. I'm not going to stir everything for it to combine. Next up, I'll go in with my oziza leaf. This is the consistency I want. You can make yours thicker, but be careful so that it will not be too thick and you will not be able to enjoy this yummy soup. So I'll just stir everything together and bring it to a pearl for about one minute because, guys, your soup 
is so so ready and guys are you seeing perfection in one pot hey goodness and mercy shall follow me oh my god it is boiling pretty very well this soup is very easy to achieve and guys you would enjoy it and thank me later bye